This is the first time we've held Science Saturday here at the Rockefeller University. We've set up a day of activities with some lectures, but, but mostly with lots of workstations where the students can be exposed to science in a hands-on way. Hundreds of students have flocked to our campus today for this. It's a reaction where we show bonding, basically, chemical bonding. So it's a way of demonstrating that muscles can be driven by voltage signals. We're asking people to figure out what does it smell like. We're also asking people to figure out how good are they at telling different smells apart. Among our kids, there are many, many who actually are interested in science, would be interested in science, but might feel daunted, might not know how to get started. And we want to show them what science can really be like and, see, and, and try to hook them, uh, get them interested in it. And you can see them discussing science among themselves. That's what we wanted to achieve, that's what we wanted to catalyze. And there you see a rocket going in the background. What fundamentally motivates us, and young kids in particular, is curiosity. You know, why is something happening? Why does the crayfish twitch? If you want to make discoveries, you have to actually get in the trenches and, and be a part of the learning process. So I think that it's very important to introduce children to that style of learning. It's a better way than just like reading a book or something to actually have the experience of learning it. I really like science. I enjoy doing experiments and I love marine biology. That's it. It's been so overwhelmingly successful, both in terms of the number of people and in terms of the response that we've received, that we know we, we really tapped into a deep vein of interest here. We think it's really important for us to share what we have here, so we're thrilled to be able to bring people to campus for that purpose.